Hey friend, just wanted to let you know that the algorithm is really, really helping a lot. Yeah. Yeah, talk later. talk reaction this is right here is for barry season one episode number six do not forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell as well tell a friend to tell a friend it's only helping the algorithm help us thank you all right just one comment from the last episode from km who says great reaction fuca is saying this is ramon on the phone with moss is probably my favorite part but there are so many funny parts from this episode like gene saying be on the lookout for a man with no discernible features. He killed your friend. Yeah. That one actor telling Barry he thinks the other guy did it and it's clear and is clearly a psycho. Mm -hmm. The actors insisting that the police should be able to enhance the photo because they could on CSI. Yeah. And Taylor's voicemails asking about killing the Bolivians. Mm -hmm. The class confronting <laughs> Sally is great too. And Bill Hader it really shows off his acting skills in that scene where the class discusses Macbeth and the morality of murder. Bill Hader won the Emmy for lead actor in a comedy series for both seasons, and I totally see why, even so early into the show, he has so many more amazing scenes coming up this season and the next. Yeah. Um, great comment and great insight, and totally agree with everything that you said. All right, let's jump into episode... Two. Oh, no. six. Six, <laughs> right now. So this is where the Bolivians are going to land? According to Marco, yeah. You know what? I honestly think we should knock that shit out in midair. I know this guy in Tijuana got some 592 stingers. Fuck it. Boom. We'll be celebrating with some races before that shit hits the ground. Sweet. Yeah, um, brute force is a total valid tactic. I think in this case, maybe going surgical is the better way to go. You know, put me up with a rifle on top of the hill there and... This is great physical comedy. What the? What? I have presentation for you. Okay, I take photos. All time, buddy, no doing hits. Buddy, buy fancy new clothes. Buddy, headsets for none. Buddy, buy a metal computer. Is there a way we can? This is cut. Once you take off the top. Just half. What? Dude, fuck that. No, no, no. The way he explains it, the though, fucker's scamming you. he's not scamming. scamming. All right, we've been working on each other for years. We're well, yeah. a team. So why do you want to leave? Oh, no, I'm just at a place where I want to branch out and explore new opportunities. But he won't let you? It's not that he won't let me. It's just that he doesn't like me doing other things. You should fucking ace that dude. Taylor. Taylor. Joe Fuchs? <laughs> You should ace that dude. I, I, can, I can do that? Well, you do what you want to do. I can do that? Get rid of it. Here. What's this? Money. <clears throat> From the stash house. We counted it out this year half. Hey, uh, this money's dirty. Uh, you can't spend it. You need it clean. I know I'm not going to ace Fuchs. He's essentially family. And I think if you give him a chance, you'll see that... You two working together makes total sense. You take that money, kill Fuchs, live your dreams. Tell how much this guy chisses. Good shame. Hey, Dad. He's fucking with his head, though, yeah. right? Who's this? Oh, my God. Well, it's me when I got out of the Marine Corps, and uh, I don't remember who this man is. Where's your sister? You guys gotta get to school. Fine. Oh, I'm <laughs> I love it. He's been so like roboticized of just doing what he's been being yeah. told. Like he never had these considerations of these thoughts outside of this. Oh, he's like, fuck 
it. You're taking this money. Listen, Bass, we were smoking and we're sorry. Yeah, yeah. Will took a quiz. We were in a bubble. You've been through something that we can't possibly understand, Barry. Yeah, I've actually decided to start reading books about World War II. You're going to be an amazing Macbeth, a uh, Scottish king. Thanks, guys. I appreciate that. Yeah, Thanks for understanding. Yeah. All right. Who wants to bring the Bard's words alive? Scripts out. That's really sussy, running off with your bag. Fuck! No locker than that. Who's gonna find the stash, baby? Mm -hmm. The stash will set it off. Give me a second. Sorry. Hey, B, I thought you'd like rush out of the theater. Do you have IBS? Because, like, I have IBS. Very, I'd actually like to share my story with you. Yo, when I was close. Out. Damn spot. Out, I say. Out, I say. Out, I say. Why then just time to do it? Do you mark that? Okay, Barry, hold it before you give yourself a hernia. What are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm saying that line. Yeah, and <laughs> you're saying the hell out of it, too. <laughs> we're not sayers. We're starting to be actors, babe. Where's Lady Macbeth? We're not sayers. She's right there. She's so close. So close. What is she doing? Shh. She's sleepwalking. Do you want to wake her? You want to no. wake her up? So what the fuck are you doing? your guy would probably talk like this. And not talk like this, for Christ's sake. Right. So, quieter or not, or this is not a volume issue. This is an issue of that you have decided how to do the scene Henry even Winkler before it's starts. Yeah, yeah. You're listening to your You're so confident of you. Stay out of this. I, Way too easy for like I am listening, because that's why I know when to say my line. Yeah, don't move. That's called waiting. You're waiting. You're not listening. You have to listen to the the attitude, to the tone, to the way that it's being said to you. Wow, I keep forgetting how strong you are. All right, you know what? Both of you, face each other. Right now, we're going to do repetition exercises. You're going to say something to Sally. She's going to repeat it back to you. You're going to say it back to her. Now, the words will stay the same. But you. Let's do that. Big, professional dude like you. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it by myself. And... You're not coming, and it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a thing that I do by myself. Uh -huh. Barry's gonna need to get some more, uh, authority. Yeah, so, like, can we not like, park in that powdered lot? That one's somewhere. I've been parking over there, and I'm not sure if we're supposed to be there. There's no sign over there. Yeah, I've been no, she's taking this shit down, babe. She was right, though. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. She just in the love so days. Much. How about that? Yeah. How about that? I've been parking in the thing over there, and he's the yeah. engine man part, too. 
Okay. We, babe, we, we have just, a, we can finally define what these people yeah, are. Yeah, so yeah, we <laughs> I just took it away from Natalie and gave it to you. What else could you possibly want? Deborah Messine says that you should only play parts that scare you. I played Lady M. I need something more. I need something that I can, you know, sink my teeth into. Yeah. Oh, I am so sorry that Shakespeare's women are not juicy enough for you. I... Who are you dying to play? Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes, I am. Not Lady Macbeth, Macbeth himself. Act 5, scene 5. The whole enchilada. Mother of God. Where is Macbeth thing so big for acting in LA? All of Shakespeare is. Yeah, like why is it? Do you know how many greats have died on that hill? Orson Welles for one. Oh, for God's sake. Lord Richard Harris, the great Burt Lar, Sally, this is reckless. Look, I just, I, I need to do something drastic. Why? Sitting on the couch next to someone in the picture sitting on a couch. Hey, give my brother every day with this. He give my brother. He give my brother. You gotta let it go. You gotta let it go, man. <laughs> You're gonna have to nail this. I know. We're talking perfection. I know. But Sally, you know the expression. You want to go fast, go alone. You want to go far, go together. Why do you always insist on going in alone? You and I both know there is no one in this class at my level. Be that as it may, Sally, not everything is a monologue. The ensemble is there to help you shine. Jean, I want this. I need this. Oh. You, you just... All right. Hey, what, Barry is going to play C... Okay. Barry's going to play who? Sally, it's one lie. I'm sure you can eat around. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I won't let you down. Oh, no, 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 no touch me. We don't touch no more now, you know, again. Too many motherfuckers going around. I mean, he already knows where she lives. I, mean, I don't know why he had to come to the place of business. Act 5 was really hard to perform for Macbeth. Do you know Mr. Christmas in the office? No, 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 sir. Oh my god, she's gonna run back in. Help me, Jean, someone's trying to kill me or something. And then she's gonna be there. She's like, I knew it, there was something about this place. I may be an ancient vampire, but I still got some skills. That's the reason why I became a detective. Not just because they let me, because they want to shut the fuck up. But... Hey, look at this motherfucker. Full gear. It's probably how you get discounts. Dude, what the fuck are you doing here? Nah, bro, it's all good. I know what you were saying, but I saw that problem. This stuff is free, right? <laughs> Get out of here right now. You understand? What the fuck are they doing here? What's up, dude? Oh my god. We're bum rush. So I kissed them in. They're fucking pumped, dude. We've been pre-gaming all night. Woo! Oh my god. 
got yeah. he had a whole army so they can do his idea babe so he can do his check idea check this out Bushmaster baby oh this shit drive okay. this shit on safety get oh. this baby he's gonna just have to take these guys out yeah. now it's getting ridiculous yeah, his homeboy in there too he didn't even give it up This is perfect, dude. All the cameras are looking at y'all in the car? This bitch off. <sighs> I'm gonna kill everyone. Get out of the car, Chris. What? Why? Whoa! Whoa, whoa! whoa. Dude, 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 relax! Relax, man. It's not a big deal. He's like, I'm gonna murder all these people. I need to get out to your family. That's it. I got your back. I ain't soft. Jesus. Oh, this is bad. He's gonna have to kill them all. You know he's gonna have to kill them all. Yeah. Let me stay over there and deal with them bodies. You're reading that accurate book. Fucking life changing shit. We're going east, right? Think that story about Ralph Macchio's true? It's pretty fucked up. Yeah, we're posted up on the hill like we talked about, right? Cause that's, that's a turn off right there. Hey, Taylor, turn around. That shit that dude says about making the unsafe choice? Fucking spoke to me, man. Taylor, turn around. Oh, fuck yeah. Let's fucking punch. Taylor, Taylor. Alright, they're gonna try to shoot the plane down there. They're gonna do the bum rush thing. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Episode six of Barry, and damn, what a, another excellent episode! I loved it, loved it, loved it. The comedy, the writing, the idea, the layers, all of it. And then what just happened at the end? Is it true? Did they just take care of Barry's problem for him already? I hope they didn't get his best friend, but they probably did get one of his his best friend because that's just this show, and these are the stakes that they're trying to make us understand that it, it is live in here. Henry Winkler's part off the chain. Man, the detective was almost off the scent of it until Dum Dum had to come over there by his brother to try to do it. So now it's all back on the table. But they killed. She killed him. Yeah, so. he did. So he can't talk. And then they did find the money too, which is, just, I mean, it's, I guess there's really good cops though. They they looked everywhere. They now they that the they were like, this is a crime scene, they did yeah. the investigation and they found it. They had to look. So I mean, it just look. It is bingeable. It is enjoyable and it is a great show. I can see why it can be winning some uh, Emmys up in here because yeah, Henry Winkler and Barry can go hard in this uh, show right here to get the get the uh, awards. But man, I had a great time with this. One. I cannot wait to see the next one. Great cliffhanger. Uh, yeah, so definitely highlight from a com the comedy standpoint where it was it Cheshians uh, in the the warehouse. All of that were it's just. They captivate the entire scene. They steal every moment that they're mm -hmm. in. And every time you see them, you're like, why can't we have more of them? Why yeah. aren't they yeah. more in the show? Um, but that was definitely a highlight of mine. I, I love the layers as far as everything that Barry's going through. Like, even the way that Taylor was talking to him as far as, like, you can do whatever you want. And he was like, wait, I can do whatever I want. And, like, him struggling with breaking some of the, the ideals he has about doing just what people tell him to do is fascinating. I'm very interested to see where his character development goes, but seeing him struggle with that, it's just like he's waking up, so to speak. He's like, I didn't realize I have choices and I can do things. Mm -hmm. um, so that's super interesting. The whole thing with Jean and Janice, as far as like that relationship, it's adorable and she was inspired and like Jean really uh, impacts her and like gets through to her and sees her for like exactly who she is. So. To have this added element now 
as far as making it to where she can't explore that relationship and even the way that she apologized to her partner was just like, so deep and so felt like it really crushed her like she was like almost heartbroken broken in that moment and like you could see Jean was heartbroken too and like how is that going to play out because I want to explore that relationship more that's a great relationship um, and now with this cliffhanger as far as like Taylor Wilde now I did not see him just being taken out by the guys who were shooting but that's what it looks like happened yeah. and what's going to happen with his best friend that's in the back of the, the, the car yeah. though so like and he was trying to save him he was trying to kick him out because he was like I can already see this going very mm -hmm. badly um, and I don't think that it's going to play out really well uh, at all. And we'll have to see how that all uh, unravels. And I love that it was a cliffhanger. And I'm glad that this show's in rotation, that we don't have to wait till <laughs> to see the next yeah, episode. Yeah. So keep voting this one in, yeah. guys. I demand it. Yeah. Um, great episode. Cannot wait for the next one. All right. Well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Barry Season 1, Episode 6. And until next time, people, peace.